We're on the cusp of a colossal occasion, a semi-final encounter here at the Euros, and the nerves must surely be jangling. Who will come out on top? Don't go anywhere, this is EA TV. And a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And only four teams are left in this cup competition. We're at the semi final stage. What do you anticipate seeing, Stuart? Well, semi finals can be very nervous affairs, Derek, but this has the making of an absolute classic. Two excellent teams, some great players, and two thoughtful coaches. This should be a very interesting tactical battle, I think. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Well, it's a 3-4-2-1 with two players behind the centre forward, but they need to link up as much as possible. They're going to be key to the way this system works. Otherwise, the centre forward could become isolated. Danilo Pereira. Pressure applied, can they make something of it? Crossing possibilities. Felix. Foiling his opponent completely. Looks as though there might be a threat, but not so in the end, good defending. Given his magnificent form, then there's every reason to believe that Cristiano Ronaldo will make an impact here. Hang on, Derek, it's a chance here. Really good build-up, but no end product. And he did what he had to do defensively. Joao Felix, Portugal losing possession here, and giving the ball away, wonderful chance, Jan Oblak, fantastic between the posts. It's a short one. It's a perfect challenge. Well, the fans are going mad here. They think that was a penalty. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Portugal being afforded too much space here. And space to cross it. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. And a penalty awarded. Spot kick coming up. This to make it 1-0. And the keeper denies them from the spot. And taken short. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Danilo Pereira. And Portugal moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Might go ahead. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. And out for a throw-in. The pass could have been better. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Oh, that's fine defensive play. 
Joao Felix. On the ball, Joao Felix. Dallo. He must finish. Oh, did so well to deny him. And how about the short corner? Timely intervention. And defensive play to be applauded. Jan Malaka. Gonzalo Inacio. Well, possession seeded. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Very much run of the mill as saves go. Keeper not concentrating. Continue to advance, and a lot of options here. Opportunity! And wouldn't he love to have that opportunity back? Well, that should be 1-0, but that's not a good finish, is it? Cristiano Ronaldo. Antonio Silva. Could cross it in here. Ronaldo. High quality defending. Spora. to put them in front oh and it goes the opening goal in the semi-final a long way from being decided but it could be telling well as you can see the weight of the through ball is key to this goal and the movement is good making for a comfortable finish it's a really great goal So back underway, having conceded, let's find out if Portugal can flick a switch and come up with a goal of their own. Danilo Pereira. Nicely cut out. And you need your defender to take charge. Well, a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. It has to be! Well, no danger now. Come as a free kick here. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. And there it is, the half time whistle. So underway again with Portugal looking to find a route back into the game.
Wants to attack from the wide areas. And just blotting out the danger. Moving forward effectively. And let's give credit to the defending. Diogo Dallo. be a Portugal throw Palinha Dallo onto Ronaldo oh fine stop so a personnel change then who can they pick out in a good position to clear it away. Palinha. Gonzalo Inacio. Danilo Pereira. Keeping the ball moving. Will it be? Thwarting him. Jota on to Ronaldo timely intervention and the counter looks on here options available they need to get bodies back and finally up a cul-de-sac Diogo Dallo, Antonio Silva, Inacio, Joao Felix, here's Ronaldo, Portugal pushing forward with options available, well didn't go to plan in the end. Benjamin Sheshko. And the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. Pedro Neto. Palinha. More than decent passing sequences, but they need a leveller. Dallo. Now with Ronaldo, superbly read and executed. Felix, this could be the equaliser. Oh, great defending. Well, you can tell what the fans think of that decision. They're certain it should have been a penalty. Good idea, and the chance is on. That is a long way off target, Stuart. Well, he looked in control, but in the end, the shot was wayward. That's a poor finish. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Plenty of support here. It's going to be a throw-in for Portugal here. Difficult to stop him. Danger averted. Dallo. Opportunity to level it. Textbook defending inside the box. Jota. Dallo. It's a perfect challenge. And he could be in proper trouble here. Well, an opportunity from the corner for Portugal to get right back into this match. Substitution time it is here. Jota. 
Can he finish this? And it goes! The leveler! Thrilling stuff here! Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. He skips past his marker, and that gives him the space to get his shot away. Excellent stuff from him. Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. Petar Stojanovic, perfect challenge. Just 15 minutes remaining. And they continue to advance, and a lot of options here. Now the counter-attack looks on. Well, that break looks so promising, but nothing coming from it. Malaka. Neto. Here's Ronaldo. How oh, can they nudge in front late on here? Shot up. What can they do from this corner? The minutes ticking away in this game. Well, making contact with the ball, but can't quite keep his header down. Now we're inside the final ten minutes in this one. Oh, nice ball over the top. Just trying to keep their opponents on their toes with the passing game. Inacio, Palinha, Mateus Nunes, Diogo Dallo on the ball, Ruben Neves, Palinha, Mateus Nunes, and Palinha with it. Silva Diogo Jota and a goal at this stage might well turn out to be decisive Jan Malaka Mateus Nunes and Palinha with it Jota it's a promising move from Portugal a good vision there can he put them in front? And brave goalkeeping to deal with the danger. Well, he had to get that right, didn't he? That's good goalkeeping. Malaka. And the ball with Stojanovic. And easily intercepted. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Cristiano Ronaldo. Shot up and playing it through. Now he's got to stay calm. Safe, but still a chance. Well, you've got to give him credit for that piece of defending. They cannot be separated here, and it's off. Well, the ball rolling again, no end to the action. It's the first period of extra time, and I must say, this has been a back-and-forth type of game. Ronaldo. It is a decent-looking attack here. Will this corner bear fruit for them? Elects to go short. Ronaldo, and now was Joao Felix.
And it's with Ibicic. Good tackle. And support available. Dallo. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Stankovic. Portugal have possession once more. Well, they're moving it around with real purpose here. Top-class defending. Stankovic. Nunes. Ruben Neves. Mateus Nunes. Gonzalo Inacio. And this is Diogo Jota now. Nunes. Ruben Neves. Mateus Nunes. Well, there's a living, breathing example of positional sense. And threading it through. And defensive play to be applauded. Joao Felix. And this is Diogo Jota now. Portugal looking dangerous. Well, that lead to the goal that puts them ahead. Just couldn't get it through. And deciding to go short with this one. Well, no point. In... Must take the lead here. A goal! Well, still a long way to go in this one, but could it be one foot in the final? If the celebrations are anything to go by, the fans believe that's the case. Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. That's it, half time. Well, underway again, the second period of extra time. Who's going to prevail here? And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Well, the referee wasn't going to let that go. In behind for him to chase. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Ilicic. A very timely interception. Not a million miles away from the equaliser. Well, he couldn't quite get it on target, but at least they're making chances now. And a failure to keep the ball on Portugal's part. Diogo Jota. Pedro Neto. Well, nothing like annoying your opponents when you have such an effective passing game. Well, time is against them. They have work to do. Spot on with that tackle. Well, they do like to press whenever they can. Now the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. 
And back to Costa. Pepe. Gonzalo Inacio. It's with Ruben Nervous. Well, spot on with that challenge. Trying to open them up. Can they convert? A glorious opportunity it was, and that could loom large. Well, that should have put them level. That could be it for them today. Here it is now, a substitution. Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. And quick thinking defensively. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. Difficult to stop him. Can he finish them off? And huge credit to the goalkeeper. They're not out of this. And could that save just inspire them? They need to get the ball forward quickly here. And now it's all over. And Portugal have made it through to the final.